How's it going everyone? It's Cody V Pyrotechnics and welcome back to the channel. Um, you may remember a video from a long time ago that me and Garrison did on one of these large artillery shell assortments. Um, he's actually behind the camera right now. We're probably going to have him up here lighting these. I paid $160 for this. It's called the Godfather and you get quadruple break, triple break, double break, ball shells, canister shells. It's just a really large firework assortment in general, but they're all shells. So I think you get like six high density polyethylene tubes in here. Um, I can't remember, they did have like a break versus shot count. So you get 132 breaks and 60 shells in this kit. And I paid 160 bucks for it. So let's get this thing opened up. We're gonna shoot all the shells off that come inside. We'll see if it was worth it. All right, so we're gonna get this thing opened up and uh, wait till you guys see this. Look at all of these shells. Like dude, I can just picture little me as a kid. You know, let's say I was eight, 10 years old or whatever. Like. I would have thought I died and went to pyro heaven. First time getting like that many shells. Oh yeah, a little bit of heaven, man. I can just picture, if I could like give little me a shot of what I would be doing now. Oh man. I think you are that little kid. I still, oh, 100%. <laughs> okay, so they're kind of like assorted. I didn't know that. Um, so they are assorted. So each one is like its own kit. So you get like a quadruple break, triple, double, a canister shell here. This isn't like your standard canister shell. As you'll see, it kind of indents there for the lift cup. And then just a singular ball shell. So you get 10 shells per kit, um, but again, multiple breaks. And we're gonna get all of these things loaded up into these tubes. We may use some of the tubes that the kit comes with. And then one other thing, the tubes, I think I said they were HDPE, but they are cardboard. Not a problem when we're working with ball shells. You really want HTPE or fiberglass when you're dealing with canister shells. And yeah, we do have some in here, but it's not enough to completely damage that tube and then still enjoy all the ball shells. So let's go ahead and get some of these loaded up and we'll shoot them off. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with the ball shells. This is one of them. Nice, those are actually really loud. And here goes one of those canister shells with the indentation for the lift cup. Nice, it was definitely loud, but not very symmetrical. And here goes the double break. We're gonna get a shot of these in times one too. Nice. They are very loud for what they are. Triple break coming right up. Okay, that was not nearly as loud. Last but not least, we got the quadruple break. Okay, actually really impressive. Way better, than Way better than the triple. All right, guys, we're gonna run this back, but in times one zoom so you can see these fireworks a little better. Nice, so that was the singular ball shell. And now let's see the canister shell, but in times one zoom. Okay, have you ever seen a canister shell fuse last that long? No. <laughs> that was insane. That was ridiculous, actually. Now let's see another one of these double break shells. Oh, both at the same time. That looked nice. Yeah, that sounded nice. Okay. And here goes another triple break. Hopefully we can get them. Yeah, those aren't nearly as loud as the rest of the kit. Last but not least, we got a quad break and then we're gonna do volleys. Wow. Man, that thing had a thump coming out of the gun. Why are the 
quads so much better than the triple? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense because you would think they could put more powder in the triple. Yep. All right, guys, here goes our first volley, and this is all the ball shells. All right, guys, here goes our barrage of canister shells. Nice. So it looked like those were all the same effect, which kind of makes sense because each kit inside this assortment is kind of like its own shell kit. And so when you have two of those canister shells in there, they might do the same thing. And that's just for one kit. So when you take into consideration that we have six of them, you're going to get all the same effects. Now, are we going to see that on the triple break and quadruple break? I'm not sure. It's only one way to find out. All right, guys, here goes the double break shells all at once. We're back to times one. All right, so we definitely had some uh, varied effects in that. All right, guys, here goes the triple brakes. Here we go, quadruple breaks, 40 breaks, grand finale. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I do plan on doing more artillery shell assortments like this in the future. We had a lot of fun, um, obviously a little bit of trial and error. You know, some of these shells did not fire the way that they should have, but uh, we definitely tried and we had a blast doing it. So um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. And again, this was the Godfather, 160 bucks. I think you have a lot of fun on the 4th of July, especially if you just want like aerial classic artillery shells. This is definitely the kit. A little disappointed in the triple brake shells, but the quadruple brake shells totally make up for that. And with that, we'll see you next time.